So while we are at a place where we know more about the deep ocean than we ever had before, we still don't know a lot comparatively. So for instance, the deep ocean floor has been mapped at a resolution of about five kilometers. If you think about that when compared with land, I mean, we would be missing entire villages, entire mountains. And having maps is only sort of one way. Actually getting down there and exploring is really what we need to do. And about 99% of the deep sea has never been explored more. And that's crazy considering we're thinking about our own planet. It provides ecosystem functions and services that keep our planet healthy and keep us alive. It regulates our climate, it detoxifies our oceans, it cycles nutrients, it provides us with resources. And the only way that we can manage that ecosystem effectively is if we have a really good understanding of it. For most of our deep ocean, we really can't answer that. The most basic question, what lives there? What role does it play in the ecosystem? And because we can't answer those kinds of questions, it means we're unable to think about things like, well, how will it be impacted by us? The little of the deep ocean that we have explored has already shown us that it's changing quickly. On every expedition I've been on, we've come across trash, we've come across some human impacts, and now we have new industries emerging, things like marine genetic resources from bioprospecting and deep sea mining for minerals. So deep sea mining is essentially extracting minerals from the deep sea floor. It's a nascent industry, it hasn't started yet, but um, there is speculation that it could begin in the next decade or so. Deep sea mining is on the horizon because of things like cobalt, copper, nickel, iron, rare earth metals, lithium. Um, all of those are present in the deep ocean in very high concentrations. And interestingly, a lot of those metals are crucial for green technology and could help in the fight against climate change. Things like deep sea mining, if not done responsibly, could result in irreparable damage to our deep ocean and our oceans and our planet. And it would also cause us to suffer in other ways. We might, we might lose species before we know them. And those species might have properties through bioprospecting that could be really useful to us in the future. What ends up happening with deep sea mining will absolutely depend on the regulations that are currently being drafted. I would like to think so, but it absolutely depends on regulations and enforcement. But before that, having enough science and research to be able to inform those regulations as, as well as possible.